Good morning, everyone. Pipsqueak killed a mouse. <laughs> I mean, I know I've had mice in the cabin before because I leave the cabin for like long stretches of time. I hadn't been here since um, Christmas. And when I first bought the cabin, it was filled with mice, um, which is why I was happy to have milk toast. But I don't think milk toast could do this. I think milk toast was just trying to cough up his hairball this morning that he's had for like four weeks. Oh my gosh. I mean, I've been giving Pipsqueak like toys that are shaped like a mouse and I just opened the door and I actually, I bent down really low to the ground today because last night was the first time where I opened the door to the, um, to the bedroom where Pip is and he just ran out and he's never done that before. Um, you know, we've been up here like a week and a half. He's never done that. And yesterday he did that and he ran into the bathroom and I quickly like went and shut the bathroom door and got him because I have Polly here. Um, in addition to Molly and milk toast and Polly, I tried to introduce Polly to Pip's week over at my dad's house and Polly kind of had a look of like, I might eat you. <laughs> my dad agreed. He was like, that was not a good look. Like she kind of licked her lips and went very, very still. And it was like, oh, okay, bad, bad, bad. Anyway, so, so Polly slept upstairs with me. Milk Toast just roams wherever. Molly slept down here in the kitchen in her, in her ginormous bed. What a diva. And so when I went in this morning to check on Pipsqueak, he was meowing a lot. I was like, okay, I'm gonna crouch low to the ground so that I can catch him. And I opened the door and I was like, oh, there's his mouse toy. And I was like, that's not a mouse toy, that's an actual mouse and it's dead. See, this is where, see, Milk Toast right now is obsessed with the vent, and I'm pretty sure this is where they're getting in. There's a vent in here that's for the furnace, but it's also set up for an air conditioner, and there's a series of copper um, cables that are big enough for a mouse to crawl through that go under the stairs and to the outdoors. So I'm pretty sure that's how they're coming in. Is this just that time of year? when they would like want to come in. No, it's like getting warmer though, but this is like when they would want to come in and like have babies. I don't know. That mouse might be pregnant. It looks really big. Oh, oh, what if Pipsqueak killed more than one mouse? Okay, so I'm gonna vlog dealing with this. So if you don't want to see a dead mouse, you can click off this video now. Hit subscribe before you click off. But um, yeah, this is ironic to say the least because I have always had a mouse in my dog craft world called Pipsqueak. And so when I knew that there were mice up here at the cabin, it was like, okay, well, we'll just, you know, that's just Pipsqueak scurrying in the walls like in dog craft. But then I named my cat Pipsqueak because he was tiny like a mouse and his first name was Mickey and he has big ears. And now he has, Pipsqueak has killed Pipsqueak. Okay, I've I've got to I've got to deal with this. I honestly don't think that you would be able to do this. You keep looking at the heater. Are the mouse's friends coming to like seek revenge? Would you be able to kill a mouse? I've had you here like a year and you haven't killed a mouse. Pipsqueak's been here a week and he killed a mouse. What's up with that? Will you just please cough up your hairball? Like it's stressing me out that you still have a hairball. And I might reintroduce you to Pipsqueak and then you're gonna start licking him again and your hairball's just gonna get bigger so you gotta cough it up, Milk. Okay, so this was the view. <laughs> Are there other mice coming to hold a funeral? So he's right there. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry, dude. Ah, his tail is bloody. No, I don't think he's pregnant at least. Oh my gosh, he's big. He's like so big. He's actually large. I mean, I really brought this on myself because here is the toy that I gave. I don't want to touch anything now. I almost want to like wash everything. Hey Pip, I put him in his carrier so that he would stop playing with it. I guess you're feeling okay, huh? You're feeling okay if you can kill a mouse. Like here's the mouse toy that I thought it was. Like that's what he's been playing with and then he was like, okay mom, I graduated. Oh my gosh. Why Pipper? 
Why, why'd you do it? Oh, I feel like I have to check the whole room now. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm just gonna try to put him in this Crispix box, I feel like. I've got a real fear. I'm not so much afraid of death, but I've got a real fear of rigor mortis. So I really don't want to do this. Crispix! <laughs> Sponsorship! <laughs> I love your cereal. I ate a whole box. So, um, you know, call me. Brand deal. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Uh, is he in it? I feel like he went in it. I can see his tail sticking out. Alright, let's just... Oh no, 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 no. Oh gosh, oh gosh. He's light. I lifted the box and I was like, he's not in it. And he is. Oh, he's such a light mouse. You did it, are you proud of yourself? Actually, when I came in, these two books were knocked over. Peter Pan and Tarzan of the Apes were knocked over. I don't know if that means anything, if the mouse was up here, I don't know. Okay, my garbage is full, so be a big, brave person, Stacy, and pick up the- Okay, he's in the box. So we're just gonna now throw the box away. Go on, Milk. We're just gonna throw the box away because our garbage- It was time to take our garbage out anyway. Okay, there. Molly does not care. Molly, you've never caught a mouse either. Could you do it? Hello, good morning. <laughs> I'm gonna take the trash out. What an adventure! What a way to wake up! I didn't touch the mouse. I feel like I need to wash my hands. <gasps> Hello, good morning! <laughs> Hi! Do you want breakfast? Alright, go on. We're gonna get breakfast. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Milk Toast. It is a couple of days later now. Paige is still in the desert with my mom. Polly is back at my dad's, although she's coming over tonight. I've got Molly, I've got Milk Toast, and let's go check on the little killer. Did you kill anyone else? Hi. Hey, no, no, no. Hey, no, no, no. Good job. You have not killed anyone else that I can see. Way to go. Such a big boy. Hey, no, not a scratching post. Actually, not a scratching post. Let's get your food bowl, and let's go make you some breakfast. Are you hungry, bud? A little bit? I wish you wouldn't. I fix their food up on the counter, and he always jumps up here. No. Let's jump down. There you go. I've been a fan of these Tiki Cat... Um, these are the tuna mousse wet treats. I just put one of these on each of their food. Or I do the wild salmon um, canned food. I went to the vets yesterday and actually Molly is obsessed with this chicken and vegetable stew. But today, because I gave them salmon last night and Meltos didn't eat very much of it, I'm going to try this wild salmon mousse. Oh, you just want the dry food? Oh, you're just boring? Okay, that's fine. You can eat that for a bit. Pip is obsessed with pumpkin. So he gets pumpkin. Milk Toast hates the pumpkin. Don't ask me why. Let me use my teeny little spoon. Pip eats the pumpkin first thing. It's his favorite. Okay, you want salmon mousse too though, don't you? Here, do you want some of this? Tell me if you like that. Yeah, I think so. Okay, we'll give some to Pip, too. That's nice, actually. I feel like I prefer that to the salmon canned, which I just bought a ton of. Because it's almost like when you drain the can. Oh, it's so soft. That's nice, huh, bud? Let's see how much of it you eat. I haven't forgotten about you. You're going to get good food, okay? But just hold on for a second. Can you guys hear Pip squeak crying? Pip? <laughs> All right, Squeak. Come here. It's right up here. It's right up here. It's right up here. <laughs> there you go. Oh. 
Okay, I think the salmon mousse is a hit because he always goes for the pumpkin first. And he is just diving. Oh no, he's found the pumpkin. He's nervous right now because I left the door open. I never leave the door open. Oh, the pumpkin. But no, the salmon mousse is a hit. Are there any mice underneath there? I think they're just toys. That's good. Okay, I'm gonna leave you to it, boy. Enjoy your, uh, your feast, you little killer. And now dry food plus some of the stew. Is Molly's breakfast? Hey now, come on. Yeah, lick your lips. Come here. Come here, Moss. So exciting. Oh my gosh. Yeah, she loves that stew. Normally she'll like leave her food and decide when she's hungry. But she always comes for that stew. Good job, Molly. Hey, hey you. You didn't eat all your food, you just ate the mousse. If you're wondering why there's a trash can in the middle of the hallway and the rug is up there, it is because it's Saturday and I need to clean. But I think I see a little cat. <laughs> Say goodbye to everyone.